before I go into measurements and testing, we'll uh, go through the, the uh, setup here. I have a Neo magnet. I have four bars. They're half inch square bars. They tend to maximize the points of the magnetism. This is a thousand pound pull off. Very careful. It's your responsibility completely to work with anything like this. Powerful magnets. Uh, this is my drive motor. I have a 12 volt wall adapter driving it. So this is my coil. This is my pickup coil. It's a pancake coil. Uh, number 21 or 23 wire. It's 3 ohms. No iron core so there is no drag or pull. This comprises my I call it raise no back EMF generator. This is my second version, my second design. I also have a number one on the video on YouTube on my site, but I don't have the number one on it. So anyhow, this is number two. I'm going to, uh, for later on results, I need to make sure this is 60 cycles at least because I'll be going from a sine wave to a DC component and you need to have 60 cycles for the formula. So, here, I'm going to go ahead and see, there's my, I'm picking up the uh, AC and the lines, so that's, uh, let's see if we can get that, not so blurry, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six and a half, so that's a 60 cycle line there, so let's see, start this up. See, I, and I had, uh, I think it was more like nine earlier. So at least I have the six, more like 90 cycles a second. So anyhow, for my formula, that's good. It's airing on the uh, far side there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and pull out some energy from my generator, lighting the lights while no extra energy is input. Let's say I have a 2 watt motor free running and I want to draw 1 watt out of it. Well, you're going to have to add another watt down here because it's making up for the one it took out. If you had 2 watts you want to take out, well you're going to have to add another 2 down here. So you kind of get the drift. What happens if I draw out something from my generator and I draw a node? more extra current. Let's see what happens here. I found several positions. This is one of the best ones I've found. I drop it in the center and then start moving it out. I have somewhere 15, I think it's close to 16 there, 0.16. So anyhow, let's use that one. Uh, 0.16 is the reference. Yeah, it looks like 1.15. Let's see there pointing out with no extra energy. So that's free. I'm using my baseline there, in fact, as the free running. This will be my zero baseline. Just the motor running by itself, no load. So I have a 12 volt adapter at 12 volts times the current. We're having a 0.15 it looks like. And so multiplying those two together, we get uh, 1.8 watt. So we're running as a baseline. Some motors will be 2 watts free running. Some will be 5 watts free running. You get a real efficient one, maybe you get one for 1 watt. So that's the reason why I'm not going to add the motor power into the generator when we start drawing a little bit more here. So anyhow, right now, we uh, took uh, something out of there. So let's try and find out how much power we're actually drawing uh, as a load. Okay, I set it up here. took uh, the LEDs off as a load because I really don't know the resistance. Because we want to uh, factor in known values. So for the load now I have uh, two 10 ohm resistors in 
series, so that's, that's 20 ohms. I have the voltage set as 2 volts per division. This scope has 8 divisions, 4 down here and 4 up here. So a total of 16 volts peak to peak uh, there. So anyhow, uh, we have our known resistance. Let's go ahead and see what kind of power we can get out of here. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump it past the uh, no current drawn point. I want to make a point about that. So anyhow, let's go. In the middle, we're going to come out of here. Two volts per division. Keep bumping that thing. That's about five. Somewhere around five. Let's try it one more time. Two volts per division. I don't hit it, it's about 0.18. We got about five divisions there. That's hard on the court. About six. That goes six, six at point one nine, huh? Let's do that. I could probably get it down to point one eight, but let's try it one more time. I'm pretty close. One. 0.186, pretty close to it. Okay, I'm going to use the 0.18. So, it was going at the 0.15 when we had that going there, free running. So, uh, that was the 0.18 for the motor. This is the motor. Okay. We were uh, for the motor again, 12 volts, but now we were drawing uh, another uh, 0.03 amps, so we're finding the power again, and 12 times 0.03 is uh, 0.36, so we added 0.36 watts to the motor. Now earlier we were saying that uh, I'm going to have to draw to make it 100% efficiency. I'm going to have to uh, draw out 0.3 watts, 3.36 watts uh, when I'm hitting this uh, 0.18. So I got to do that for the 100% uh, efficiency. And let's see what happens here. Drawing the Point two or two volts per division. Okay, we want to come up to the point one eight, and hopefully this is going to work out in more than point three six watts. Okay. There's about two divisions. Hitting, I'm hitting it a little bit. Come back. Looks like about five, six. You can play around with that. I, I had about six earlier. If I bump it, it gives up to 0.19. <laughs> Gotta have steady nerves here. So anyhow, we're going to use the 0.18. I had that earlier for the 6. Okay. So now, we had, uh, uh, this is uh, 2 volts per division. We had 6. So that's uh, 12 volts. Uh, 
12 volt peak to peak. And so in order to change that over to a DC component, we have our 60 cycles, so we use the times 0.7. So that's uh, what's that? four uh, one one eight point four yeah, right point. Now, let's see uh, eight point four. So that's okay. So eight point four volts. That's my DC voltage, okay? Okay, okay uh, to get the, uh, this is my coil, this is my generator output. And uh, to get power, we go voltage times current. And the current was uh, 0.18. And that will give us power, 1.5 rounding it off, it's a little bit more than that. This is watts, okay? Now going back, this is my output, and this is my input increase, in, increase. The increase was 0.36 watts, but I was able to pull out 1.5 watts, and that was after the conversion into the uh, DC component. So uh, you can see that there's something happening here. The only uh, theory I have is normal generators, they have the coil passing completely through the magnet. So they break in and out of the magnetic fields, and I believe that's what's causing the uh, back EMF, the generator. This is just a guess. You can take this whole thing as a grain of salt. You can make up your own mind. But uh, the way I have it here, this is like a north, and this is a south. So this is all north. So we're really never breaking out of the north to the south, or completely out of the north. So uh, we're always in a north field. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set her up for the LEDs, and uh, we'll finish off there. And this is something you can have a lot of fun with, nothing else. And uh, my numbers show over unity, but you know, that's, that's my knowledge of how to do it. I might be missing some things here. But uh, anyhow, it is interesting, and I had a lot of fun doing this. And I wish you well, and have a nice day.